Well, hello, Dartfish friends, and welcome to our end of day review of the Safari Rally in Kenya. I'm Colin Clark, because hopefully you've realised by now, but you might not know this man, Rob Hansford. Rob, uh, it's your debut on our reviews. It is, it is, yeah. Rob, I was asking you earlier on what you do. You struggle to tell <laughs> me. <laughs> remind us, remind, tell our audience what it is you do. I do know what you do, and he's yeah. very, very good at it, let me tell you. Well, I'm involved in the editorial side, so providing, yeah, helping provide the stories from the news desk yes. and uh, keeping everybody up to date, really. He's a writer, and a very fine writer at that. So, Rob, day two at Safari. Listen, yesterday provided us with an enormous amount of entertainment and drama. But we thought today was going to be the real challenging day, and so it proved, so it proved. What do we have today, folks? We had six stages, 150 Ks, Rob. And it all kicked off quite early on. Yeah, it seemed, it seemed like it was going to be a quiet start to the day, but as you say, things kicked off pretty quick, didn't it? Um, people ran into issues left, right and centre. Mm. Greensmith ended up on his side. Um, yeah, it was, it was hard to keep up, really, wasn't it? It was hard to keep up, but what I found uh, really disheartening because I had my money on M Sport this weekend. It was M Sport that suffered really badly through the opening stages again this morning. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Greensmith. Greensmith seemed to get caught out. It, it was an odd one, wasn't it? Caught out in the ruts, but that happens here. Yeah, I mean, with the fresh fresh as well, there's so much dust yeah. coming around. So, yeah, tricky, unfortunate, up on his side. Obviously, he was stuck in the car for a few yeah. minutes. Um, yeah, it wasn't ideal, was it at all? Yeah, no, the stuck in the car was interesting. and. I'm sure you've, you've, yeah, you'll have you've seen the videos on social media. Uh, listen, when I was out in Kenya at the start of the week, I, there was a lot of communication with the fans around the stages about these new cars and about the potential hazards of the hybrid cars, the electric cars. And the message was very, very simple. You know, if you're unsure, stay away. Yeah. Keep away from the cars. The fans, to be absolutely honest with you, did exactly what they were asked to do. Now, Greensmith was frustrated because he was stuck in the car effectively and they had to you know we saw them in the next stage with a windscreen out and we thought how did that happen <laughs> it was the only way they could exit the car yeah it was um i get his frustration because any rally driver yeah. wants to be on the move don't they so they but do. at the same time fans did exactly as they were asked so exactly yeah you, you can't you can't really have too many complaints can you no well you can if you've got green smith yeah. because they yes they got the car going uh, but they retired then on the road section for more once again um an absolute nightmare out there he just can't get a break can he it's issue after issue at the moment in consecutive rallies it's just um yeah it's, it's difficult to, to win that you just need a clean run mm. it reminds me of pierre louis Loubet last year who every single time he went out couldn't get through a loop of stages i, I think he's just you got some drivers you know we, we mentioned this earlier sort of um, you know takasani's he ran into a few issues last year he's now slowing things down and things are coming back to him that's right well i think with reformer he's he's got the issues he's got the pressure and he's trying harder to, to get over that. It caused issues for Craig Breen. Yeah, obviously, trying to pass. You know, Breen, Breen trying to get past, yeah, couldn't. Yeah. Um, and teammates, yeah, fumbling over each other. It's, it's a schoolboy error from Adrian Formo to compromise his teammates driving that sort of way. Uh, go on the area and slide that pad onto the pad. Uh, it's one out the outside there. <laughs> So it was a difficult morning for M Sports, uh, but it was a very, very good morning once again for Toyota. Kelly Rob from Pera, nothing can stop him at the moment, can it really? It's just he is on a roll. Well, he's, he's in a groove. Yeah. On a roll, in a groove. He doesn't really have to think too much about what he's doing. It just comes to him. And I think he's, in some ways, he's managed to take the pressure off himself, hasn't he? Mm. And he's just, just gliding through. And as I say, yeah, his day has gone gone to absolute plan because you'd have thought it might, might be running into a few issues today but it, mm. yeah it has, hasn't worked out that way. Uh, so what happened with Tanak out there? He, he was doing well, he was, he was setting some good times, threatening the podium places. Yeah it was a prop shaft issue wasn't it? So um, Reliability issue again. Yeah reliability and yeah it seems to be a Hyundai's luck at the moment doesn't it? It's um, yeah he had another one to add to the list for the year. Ooh, yeah another retirement for like Tanak, really really disappointing, a wonderful win in Sardinia for him and you know, Tanak, Tanak showed in Sardinia that he still absolutely has that ability to, uh, to, to win rallies and to dominate. You know, when he was at his best, he was an intimidating force. And he intimidated the other drivers with his presence and his ability. And I think he showed a little bit of that again in Sardinia. 
but he must be getting frustrated. Yeah, to be fair, I think, you know, Newville's in the same boat, isn't he? They, mm. they both had a whole heap of reliability issues, you know, between them this year. Kenya, they were quite hopeful about Kenya coming yeah, in with the Hyundai. Yeah. So yeah. it should have been on the cards. He should have, you know, could have been right at the very forefront. But And he was doing all the right things. He was yeah. looking after this guy. He wasn't overstressing it. He wasn't overstressing himself. He knew the rally and potentially the places would come to him as long as his car kept going. Yeah. Hop. Uh -uh. Side of the road. Now, the dramas in the final stage of the day in Kenya, Rob. Where do we start? Well, yeah, we, we all said before the rally, you know, got underway, there's going to be chaos. It just went ballistic, didn't it? It looked like the safari of old. If you've seen the pictures of the cars coming through the stage, absolutely covered in mud and stew. And, you know, if you didn't know what colour the colour scheme was, you couldn't guess because it was just brown mud. So the rain came down, the conditions got challenging. Let's start again with Hyundai, in particular Terry Neville. Very, very strange one. He seemed to get stuck in the mud. He then seemed to get going again, straight into a tree. Yeah. And he, and he just got himself up, you know, into um, podium positions. Yes. He, he passed Takasan uh, in a stage before. He was looking good. And then, yeah. Into a tree. Into a tree. And then that's it. But that's what happens. You know, that's what happens in these conditions. You get a little bit disorientated. You get a little bit frustrated. You lost a lot of time. Drivers never like to lose time. We've talked a lot about that bit. Oliver Solberg, next through, seems to have gone wide on the same point yep. and has gone into the back of him. Yeah. It was a little a little kiss along the side of him, wasn't it? And kiss uh, on the side and then straight on and challenging conditions. Solberg battled his way through, though. And adds, the, the stop line comments, hopefully we can get those. We'll, we'll play them in if we can. But the stop line comments, he said, that is what rallying is all about. He said it was a nightmare, but at the same time it was a wonder. He didn't quite say this, but... In, Paraphrasing him, it was a wonderful nightmare. Oh yeah, this is proper rally. The finest speed in And he was equally lucky to finish because he said the yeah. engine cut out on him a couple of times. Yeah. So yeah. he was he was lucky to get to the end of that. He really was. Uh, now Sebastian Loeb, I think, finished the stage first. Uh, suspension damage to his car. Tell you what, let's catch up. George Donaldson, uh, you know, fair play to our man on the ground, George Donaldson. Uh, he seems to have been everywhere this weekend. He's not been everywhere, but he's always been in the right position. And he was in absolutely the right position to catch up with Loeb after his dramas. I don't know, uh, in a straight line, uh, not bumpy. Just in a straight line, suddenly, pop, I think the steel uh, broke. Then the car fell down, the tyre was here, uh, on the rear, and, and uh, then I think he finally destroyed the tyre. Yeah. yeah, good work, George. Um, Toyotas. Let's let's move on, Rob, and wrap up with the Toyotas. Rob and Perra, and certainly uh, Elvin Evans, and then Takasan. You know, one, two, yeah. three at the end of the day. Uh, just looking magnificent again out there, coping with things beautifully. Yeah, and as I say, Rob and Perra seems to have taken he doubled his lead pretty much between that, you know on that final stage. So he, as we said, he, he found Different the sweet level. spot with that Yaris. Mm. Of course, it was a tough day and. Uh, and yeah, we did a good job. Uh, I have to be happy where we finish now and uh, on these tough conditions and, and, and on the afternoon on the rain and mud, it was quite tricky. Yeah, for sure, on the mud and rain, we had, uh, I think, quite a lot of moments like everybody had because you just basically have zero grip and uh, you can have so much standing water that it's hard to go through. Evans, finally, you know, keeping things keeping things nice and clean. He's, he's in a really good position, but yeah, yeah I'm really pleased with Takasana. I just hope, I hope he can uh, hold on. Hold to it together tomorrow. I think he will. Uh, everything was uh, was fine, really. I mean, we were having a good run this morning, but that first opening stage was, um, yeah, rough in sections, but also quite nice in other places. So obviously, we tried to to go as normal, let's say, in the in the no, in the normal places, but uh, we we tried to take as as much care as possible in the in the rough places so that was all okay um, of course we had a bit of a puncture towards the end of sleeping warrior the first time through a um, bit of an incident with a zebra uh, not an incident but he was close you know so i had to slow down and yeah there this afternoon uh, obviously the weather came in and uh, we picked the wrong moment to have a, a slight glitch with the wipers so so yeah uh, it was visibility was a bit difficult yeah it has been a really tough day again uh, i'd say that even tougher than yesterday uh, yeah, stage itself already quite rough and difficult and then afternoon loop you could see that a uh, lot of lane and uh, really muddy section and big water so it was really difficult to manage and guess what's going to happen but 
yeah, I must be happy we are here and of course I am a bit disappointed to my mistake and uh, two punctures but it's almost nothing, especially this safari rally, so yeah. We did discover a slight weakness with the Toyotas. The Toyotas have been wonderful all weekend, but we discovered a slight weakness with them in that final stage. Yeah, Evans was uh, mentioned something about washers, wasn't he? Yes. As did Takasan, didn't he? Takasan, yeah. Takasan, so the wipe was not working so well. That is a minor hindrance to these drivers. Reasonably major, I suppose, on a stage <laughs> like that one. Folks, it was a dramatic day out there once again. We have a proper final day ahead of us. 80 kilometres, six stages. Uh, look out for our preview tomorrow morning because that middle stage in the loop, Rob, if you think we've seen Fesh Fesh on this rally so far, think again. 11 kilometers, almost full fesh fesh. Yeah, it's going to be um, interesting to see if it stays as is because right now the top three could still completely be a completely different lineup. You know, what we said at the start of the week if you're within 10 minutes of the lead and the weather comes in, anything can happen out there. Yeah, it definitely can. Good. Now you've broken your uh, review virginity. <laughs> Rob, how did you find it? How was it for you? Yeah, it was, it was good. It was all right. You can come back anytime. <laughs> Folks, thank you very much once again for joining us here at the Festival of Speed in Goodwood. It has been for us the perfect uh, position really. We've got rally cars right, we've got rally cars left, we've got rally cars in Kenya that we've been keeping an eye on. It's been a wonderful way to enjoy the Safari Rally in Kenya. One more day to go. Can Toyota make it a clean sweep of the podium positions? You'd have to say my money is on them to do that. At the moment, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Folks, thank you for joining us. Don't forget tomorrow, final day, Rally, so what are we call it? Safari Rally Kenya. Join us on dirtfish.com.